Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back. My name is Kev Tendo and for today's video, I'm going to be showing off a Deku avatar that has, uh, I actually don't remember. I don't think it has all of the seven users powers or whatever, but it's got multiple of them. It's essentially uh, Deku after he leaves the school and he's got like the, the ragged clothes and stuff from like season six. So the world I am in for today's video is a PC quest world called the SGS Clouds My Hero Academia Avatars over here by SGS Cloud. Yeah, I guess they call it Vigilante Deku, I guess. <laughs> so once you get into the world, it's pretty easy to find the avatar. You'll just see Deku standing there and right to the right of him is gonna be the avatar. They also have another one over here in this avatar section. I don't know if this is the same one or not. But I mean, I'm just going to click this one. Maybe they're just showcasing this one. And that is the same one back behind it. So like I said, this avatar is able to do like the different powers and stuff. So uh, we'll go ahead and check the facial expressions really quick. We get um, grip gives this grin, grip and trigger. Um, doesn't really do anything what about trigger and thumbstick. Nothing closed fist, nothing open hand, nothing. Oh, because nothing's on his right hand. Okay, so is it all tied to his left hand? Open hand. Yep. Uh, grip. Uh, hold on. Grip. Angry. That's closed fist. Closed fist. Grip. It's kind of hard to just just do grip. There we go. It's it's a little different. Uh, finger point. Finger gun. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> um, thumbstick, open hand, uh, grip, trigger. No, not grip and trigger, trigger and thumbstick. Not really anything. So that is pretty much it for the hand gesture. So now what we will do is we will go over to the expressions wheel. So over here on the expressions wheel, we have cape. You can toggle on and off the cape. Uh, we have the mask, 0%, which is probably going to be like the other Deku. Uh, let's see, 0%, 25%, you get the mask on, 50%, you just get like the face mask. Then we have locomotion, which allows you to like float and stuff. Then we have the emotes, which has got a bunch of different dances, uh, default. You got some default animations, some special ones, which are more dances. You got some Fortnite dances. So you got like three categories for dances. And then we can get to the main part, which is going to be the quirks. So if we go over here where it says new and it has quirks, we have float ultra smash. That one actually is new. So they must have updated that because I don't remember Ultra Smash being on here. So I'll go ahead and hit float. And now what float is going to do is it's going to like move Deku's legs. So here we go, standard, and then we go float. And then this will allow us to like fly around. Now the flying isn't the one I like where if you look up and move forward, then you move up. And if you look down and move forward, you move down. So essentially you move wherever you're looking. Um, doesn't seem to do that. It seems to be more like the, if you want to go up, you have to press the A button. But over here to our right, we have this thing over here that says uh, how to use different abilities. Float does not work on quest, working on it, all right? Jump to fly up, hold fist on your right hand to speed forward while float is on, chairs will be on the back of the avatar to carry people. So this is a rideable avatar. So it says hold fist on your right hand to speed forward. All right, let's try this. Uh, ooh. I think I hit a wall. Oh, I did hit a wall. Okay, so what about... Wah! Okay, so by going closed fist, kind of like Superman. Oh, that is cool. So going closed fist, if you look at the ground below me... Oh, I got stuck. <laughs> you look at the ground below me and I close fist, it flies me forward. That's cool. It's on my right fist, though, so I don't really do anything with my left one. Oh, I grabbed that camera. Oops, let me fix you guys. Next up, we have the one for all which also lights up the area. So technically this is a light source avatar. Oh, I also get like little trails on my hands and stuff too. Now this is the cool one. This is Black Whip. So go ahead and turn on Black Whip. It has the same um, little percentage meter as like the other equipable stuff, like the mask and stuff. So if we go and slide it over here to 25%, we get these two little glowing trails uh, of like Black Whip. So this one comes straight out the middle. So I like these. I like how it like moves and stuff. It's just really cool. 
Whenever you have stuff like this on avatars, it just gives you something to do while you're sitting around. I like it. Now, what is cool about this with the black whip is that you can actually slap it and kind of like lock it in place. Black whip is limited to 50% for quest users due to performance issues. When black whip is out, hold thumbs up to lock the whip in place. Open hand will hide the whip while fist doesn't change anything. Open hand will hide the whip. Oh, so then you can throw it out. Okay. And what was it to do the thing? Uh, thumbs up to lock it. And it actually makes like a slap sound. <laughs> so when you lock it in place, it, this is just something that you can do. When you lock it in place, it actually locks it. So like it stops moving and then you can like hold, you know, close fist or whatever if you need to move. But what I like to do is I like to like wrap it around like this, kind of like you're wrapping something up. Which I find really cool. Uh, I guess the rest of it's not going to come over here. <laughs> but I mean, if you wanted to, you could pretend to like wrap somebody up in Black Whip. So then if we go up to 50%, oh, I guess that actually there's a lot. So if we go to 35%, we get three of them, one on each hand. And like Wolverine claws, but like really long, but then you can also... <laughs> we go over to 50%, we get the whips coming out of his back, which I don't really get where they're coming out of. Where are they coming out of? His backpack? It looks more like they're coming out of his back like wings. I don't know. I saw this part in the show. That was pretty cool. So 50% is going to be the most that you get where you get like the ones on your back as well. Um... I do like that they move though, so that's pretty cool. So then the next one we got is Danger Sense, which doesn't do anything. I mean, I don't see how it could or what it's supposed to do. No, I don't see anything popping up. So uh, you're not gonna see Danger Sense. Uh, next we got Smoke Screen, which actually creates the pink mist. At first, oh man, I can't see. <laughs> so you essentially create mist around Deku. They must have updated this so that it's, it's harder to see. I don't know. But yeah, you can create the mist and stuff too. <laughs> you turn that off. Jeez. <laughs> and then next we have the Fa Jin, or whatever it is. Which I didn't know what this was when I first saw this avatar, and then I like went and binge watched my way through season six, and now I understand what it is. At first I thought this was like super speed, but I was like, doesn't he already have super speed? <laughs> but no, this essentially what this ability does is it stores kinetic energy. So like if he like, you know, bounces his legs enough, he can like store energy in his legs and then kind of use this ability to like release it all at once. And then we have the Ultra Smash, which I don't remember. So we're gonna see what this does. Oh, oh, this is new. Okay, this was not on here before. So it makes the world go dark. Ugh. <laughs> oh. I don't know if you can see the ring. Oh, the ring is gone. Let's try that again. Ah! <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and aim it over there. So you kind of punch a little shockwave out. Okay. And then that is going to be it for the Vigilante Deku avatar. So I really like this avatar. If you like it too, be sure to head over to this world and check out the avatar and be sure to check out their other avatars as well. They got some pretty cool ones over there too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.